Man, you can just tell how cold it is out here by the sound of the snow. Listen to it. Isn't that crazy? Look. It's actually warmed up. It was minus 4 at 5.30 when I got up. The bees are definitely in a deep freeze. Today what I'd like to do, as you remember last week, um, I showed you the readings on the broodminder. Um, the humidity seemed a little high to me. So what I want to do is, on a couple of those colonies, I want to place uh, the mountain camp on one, uh, maybe some fabric like some burlap on top of another, and I just want to see if that makes a difference on the humidity level over a couple weeks. So what we'll do is we'll go in today, um, after it warms up, the sun gets up a little bit, we'll go in, lay some newspaper on a couple colonies, pour in a little dry sugar. On a couple different colonies, what we'll do is we'll ball up some burlap, stick up above the cluster and uh, the feeding shim, and in a couple weeks, um, we'll go back and see what the humidity readings look like. See if it's helped lower it compared to what it is now. Now I realize that the, the weather at that time is going to play a huge toll in it, so um, that's where we're going to leave some colonies the way they are. That way we have something to compare to. So it ought to be quite interesting, and I hope you stay tuned to uh, see the results. Now let's wait for the sun to get up, and we'll get started. Okay, so we're currently sitting at about 27 degrees. That's our whopping high for the day. And in my hands, I got some goodies we're going to experiment with here. Um, so let's find a place here where we can set this stuff down. And I'll show you what I got. Okay, so we got a bowl of sugar. Stole that from the kitchen. Uh, I seem to be out of stock myself. So that's what I've got to work with today. I've got some old newspaper here. Um, we're going to cut that down to fit in some nukes or fold it, whichever, and uh, put it in some nukes, pour the sugar on top, or poke some fine holes in the paper, pour some dry sugar on top, that will be one setup. The other setup, what I'm going to do is take um, burlap, and I'm just going to lay it loosely in top of um, the feeding shim, and we'll see if this becomes moist, and if the humidity on down by the sensor happens to lower since it's all caught up above maybe what will happen is it'll still remain the same because the moisture is still stuck within the colony it's just stuck in the burlap or in the sugar so we will see we'll see what happens oh no my stuff's blowing away mother nature fighting against the beekeeper again i said this well I don't want to get the paper wet. So this is the first nuke we'll do. And uh, I mentioned in my last video about it that I was surprised it was still alive because they are very weak. Look at all that fondant that's gone now. They're still down in them frames. So what we'll do is uh, it's going to take this burlap and I'm going to wad it up, lay it in right over top of everything, just like so. And that may not change anything, but you don't know unless you try. Lid's a little contrary to put on with one hand too. There we go. Okay, so let's go find another one to stick some burlap in. Or maybe we better do some newspaper so it don't get wet. Um, let me get it cut down to size and I'll catch you back up. Okay, so I got two pieces of newspaper and I want to stick one of them in 803. Boy, look at all the bee activity around this. You see all the dead bees? We'll go around to the back here. Look, there's a dead bee over here. Problem is, is there's no place to set anything down that's dry. And I don't want to set the newspaper down and uh, get it all wet. 
So let me try and get the sugar out of my hands. See, you don't understand the difficulties of recording videos unless you do it. <laughs> okay. Pop her open. Look at that. 27 degrees, folks. Bees up and moving around. Isn't that unreal? Okay, I apologize for your view, folks. Um, I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible. And the paper's getting wet. My hands are just too full of stuff. So what I'm going to do is just lay this newspaper down here. Like so. The wind isn't helping me. My other piece of newspaper is blowing away. And we're just going to fill that full of dry sugar. Now let me give you a view of what that looks like with my newspaper blowing away. Now here's what the inside looks like. Over here we've got the Hive Alive fondant patty, which you can see the bees just going to town on. And uh, over here we've got what's called the Mountain Camp Method, and that's all there is to it. It's simply newspaper. You can use wax paper. Most people use newspaper. Poke a few small slits in it, and move the sugar around. The bees will climb up and get to it. So here you go. Here's one coming up now to check it out. So I'm going to get closed back up, folks. It's cold out here. So if I can catch my newspaper before it blows away or gets completely soaked. We'll do this exact same thing on another colony. So 803 is one of them that has the mountain camp now. now. Let's move on down here, I guess, and try doing something with Stan. Look. 27 degrees, folks. So I'm going to lay my newspaper there. And it's just as simple as that. Now you can see that that sugar is real fine and everything like you'd expect. But once moisture starts to collect in that, that'll get rock hard. Let me close it back up. So, 803 and Stan now have the mountain camp. That means I have one more to give burlap to. And let's give it to 805 down there. Or better yet, yeah, 805. wife hates it when I walk in snow and disturb it. It looks so pretty until you walk in it. Yeah, I agree. But I can't not walk in it and leave things pretty when work needs done. Okay, over here, I don't see anything going on with the fondant. Which is a little concern. A little concerning. Hmm, I can't say yay or nay on that. So, since I can't tell what's going on, I'm still going to go ahead and lay the burlap in there. What we'll do though is try and contain it all to this side. It may not be possible. Some of these corners on the burlap are pretty thick. there we go 805 has burlap and let's go up here and see what number this one was
no tag number. So I bet it blew off and fell down in the snow. I'll have to look at my records and what I'll do is, is I'll put a note right here on the screen what number that colony is. So we'll give it a couple weeks, monitor it with the brood minder sensors and see how it goes. So what do you think folks? Do you think that this is going to play any tool on the humidity within the colonies? Or do you think since the moisture is still being contained within the colony, whether it's in the sugar or the burlap, that the reading will still be the same? I'm not really sure. Um, in my mind, I think that the, the humidity has to be airbound or the moisture has to be airbound in order for it to register as humidity. Um, so I don't know, I honestly just don't know whether it collecting in the sugar is going to lower it or it's going to maintain the same and the same with the burlap. So I think this is going to be rather interesting and I would love to hear your prediction down in the comments below. Um, and in a couple of weeks what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll compare um, the broodminder readings from before adding this uh, experiment to the colonies and then we'll go and look at the current readings and compare it to other colonies that do not have the mountain camp or the burlap and we'll see if there was any significant change. Um, I don't know. I just thought it would be interesting to play around with and see see what it did do or did not do like i said you just don't know something unless uh you're willing to take the steps to give it a try and from that take what you learn and uh make adjustments to make it even better so that's what i hope to do here if i'm if i learn that the mountain camp method is lowering the humidity then right out the gate in the beginning of winter i'll go ahead and put the mountain camp method on um, the only reason I haven't done it to this point is the bees have the fondant. They still have a little uh, food reserves in the frames. So I don't feel that they need the mountain camp, but maybe to lower the moisture, they are going to need the mountain camp. Oh, Miss Ladybug's awake. She's coming in now. Good morning, Miss Ladybug. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Ladybug. So that's my thoughts. Um, we will see. So stay tuned. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a minute to do that. And if you enjoy this video, smash that like button down there. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, stay warm, folks. Um, it looks like looking at the weather, we're going to warm up this week and actually do probably, probably melt most, if not all, of our snow. And then we've got some rain coming. The next day, right after the rain, it's right back to 12 degrees in the morning. So I'm not sure that I see a whole bunch of mud, but I definitely see the snow leaving and firm ground again. So I'm fine with that, it is what it is. Uh, we're getting closer to spring, so with any luck, we'll be in our bees before we know it. Um, I was looking yesterday, actually I was watching out the window, watching the birds at the bird feeder, and uh, I noticed some little red buds just starting to push out on the uh, maple trees. So in another month and a half or so, They'll be in full bloom, and the bees will be happy campers, and so will the beekeepers. So, all good things come to those who wait. So, we are waiting. Bring it on. <laughs> all right, folks. Have a great week. Um, if you have any questions or comments pertaining to this video or anything else beekeeping related, feel free to leave that down in the comments. Thanks for watching. JC's Bees. Is it Miss Waybug? Miss Waybug, come here. There he is, there's in the spotlight.